Hey, blessings, blessings. People of God, it's Pastor Ben Lim here. I wanted to jump on real quick today. I have a word to share with you today. God is moving in America. God is moving in our nation. Amen. Some say good news. Who knows that Jesus is a proclaimer of good news? All right, there is no sad news, no bad news. There's only good news. Some say good news. And I want to declare over you that good news is coming to you. Uh, there's going to be good news, swift justice, acceleration, a great movement of the things of God is going to take place over you in Jesus' name. So if you believe it, say amen. So there's a number of things going on in the spirit realm, and I want to talk about them, and I want to address them and release it over you today, and just give you some prophetic perspectives of what's going on right now. Amen. Someone say, let the dominoes fall. Someone say, let the dominoes fall. In Jesus' name, amen. So uh, let me know where you are watching from. Give me some hearts, some likes. Praise God. Give me some shares here. And uh, once again, um, please give us a like and a follow at our Benlin Public page on Facebook. And also uh, give us a subscription on our YouTube page, amen. Well, this is Pastor Ben Lemire. Listen, I want to start off with scripture here, okay? I want to start off with scripture, and then I'm going to go into different words in Revelation, amen? And once again, give us some hearts, likes, and share. Let's go over to Luke 8, verse 17. Luke 8, 17. The Bible says, For there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed, and nothing concealed that will not be known or brought out into the open. Come on, somebody. There is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed. New Living Translation says, for all that is secret will eventually be brought into the open and everything that is concealed will be brought to light and made known to all. Someone say amen. I believe we're in a time right now where full exposure is coming. Someone say full exposure. Full revelation and full exposure. There comes a time in your life in every time and season where Things are revealed. Things are manifested. The Bible says God cannot be mocked. That whatever a man sows, he will reap. And uh, we're in a day where there's going to be public reaping. There's going to be public reaping. There's going to be exposure and revelation. Things that people have been doing in the dark and secret and silence is going to be revealed in the light in Jesus' name. And... Uh, <clears throat> Right now, I believe in the summer season, not only is it a three-month season of awakening and open heavens, but I believe that it's a season of revelation where God's beginning to shine the light of His face on America. God's beginning to shine the light of His favor upon the church. God is beginning to shine Jesus' shine in our country. Some say amen. So I believe that light is coming. Uh, that God is beginning to reveal and expose. And this is just the beginning. All right, let the dominoes fall. Amen. Of course, right now, uh, we see Fauci has been sacrificed as the fraudulent lamb sacrifice as he is. Okay. Who here knows that Fauci is not only getting exposed or fired, but he's about to get uh, convicted and he's going to go to prison. Amen. So someone say, let justice ring in Jesus' name. So not only is Fauci going to get indicted in Jesus' name, but it's connected to the Clintons and Obama. It's connected to so many corrupt people of the left and the right. Uh, it's connected to so many people that have been tied into this whole mischief, evil, mischievous nonsense this great reset, this evil plan for decades and centuries. So let the dominoes fall. Someone say amen. So I believe in the summer season, we're going to see great exposure. And the reason why they're throwing Anthony Fauci under the bus right now is because they don't want to be connected with it. They do not want to be connected with Fauci, so therefore people are scurrying, they're hurrying, they're scrambling to try to save their own behind. It's the theory of uh, survivor. It's the theory of predator, of trying to maneuver and and trying to mischievously 
uh, secretly trying to maneuver to throw somebody under the bus so that you save your own behind. You know, it's what the Black Widow does. The Black Widow will eat the husband, right? So it's, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and that's what these demons do. That's what demons do, okay? That's what people on the evil left demonic side do. So right now, Anthony Fauci, his latest book, which was getting all this praise about a month or so ago, is, is now not being sold on Amazon. I mean, think about that. The largest book distributor, print distributor, the largest distribution center company on earth is now has banned or quote unquote canceled Anthony Fauci's book on Amazon. And that's just the beginning. But why is Jeff Bezos on Amazon? Why is big tech scrambling right now? Because exposure is coming. So I'm saying, man, exposure is coming. And I'm telling you, the fraud of CDC, the fraud of the inhumane, humane crimes against human society, the fraud of shutting down the government, shutting down businesses, the fraud of masks, the fraud of vaccines, all this, the fraud of that it wasn't created in a lab, but it was natural rather than biochemically created. The fraud of all of these things is about to get exposed. And it is. I mean, we already knew it. It's obvious. But the woke left has been so drunk, deceived, and intoxicated by um, just compromise and concede and just follow like sheep links. But I mean, the truth is obvious. And the Bible says that the, everything will come to the light. All things will come to the light. So I'm saying, man, nothing hidden. And I'm, let me tell you, it's not only being exposed right now and shaking in science and technology, but get ready for media. Get ready for government. Come on, somebody. Get ready for even the church mountain. Who even knows that God is shaking up every sphere of society. God is shaking up every mountain of influence, the seven mountains of cultural influence of society. God is shaking up the church. He's already been shaking and exposing, but get ready for more shaking and more exposure. Do you know that there's a deep state? Do you also know that there's a deep church? There's a deep church and a deep state. So there's a shaking coming forth, the lightning rod, the rod of God's authority, justice, the MC hammer word of God is coming down to smash every idle, inhumane, evil thing. I mean, the power of God's falling. So do you feel the shift? Do you feel the awakening? There's something happening after Pentecost, Shavuot, there's been a boom. And as I declared and prophesied, June is a month of boom. Some would say boom. It's June boom. It's June boom and June big bang. So expect a bang and a boom in America and in the mouths of society. If you believe it, say amen. But God is shaking, God is exposing, and people are scrambling. I'm telling you, let me let me talk to you personally right now. Have you felt like you've been thrown under the bus recently? Have you felt like somebody threw you under the bus, like people backstabbed you, people did a Judas on you, people betrayed you, people are, are throwing you under the bus? Why? Because they're doing an Anthony Fauci on you right now. They're trying to save their own behind, and they're afraid. They're afraid of being exposed themselves. So therefore, as a, a counter-reactive, as a reactive rather than a responsive, responsible, as a counter-reactive, emotionally driven, fleshly, self-centered, narcissistic, selfish move, what they're doing is they're throwing you under the bus rather than themselves being exposed. You know, it's kind of like when you point your finger, the Bible says, don't point your finger because who knows? They have a splinter, but you actually got a big plank in your own eye. 
the one that is righteous, the one that is with no sin, be the first to cast a stone. And so right now, all the fingers that's been pointed at you or against you, all the attacks that's been against you is about to backfire because, because many times it's actually a deflective, defensive mechanism to try to get attention off of themselves, put it on someone else as a scapegoat so that they feel better about their own self-righteousness. But the Bible says... That all your self-righteous works are as dirty as rags on that time of the month. Excuse the graphicness. But that's the Bible. That's the commentary. All your works of self-righteousness are as dirty as filthy rags. Amen. And I'm telling you right now, God is about to boom. There's about to be a June boom. June, July, August. There's going to be a Pentecost boom and even as I declared and prophesied, what does Pentecost stand for? In the days of Moses, when on Mount Sinai, when the Ten Commandments, the law of God came, it stood for a new kingdom. It stood for the kingdom being established. Because you cannot be a kingdom without having law, without having law and order. The law of God, the Ten Commandments stood for the law, the kingdom of, God, of, of the king. So, boom, the kingdom was established on Mount Sinai because the law came, the word of God. Years later, now, on Acts chapter 2, boom, a new government of God's church, the Ecclesia, the church of Jesus Christ, was birthed. Someone say birthed. So, right now, we're in a season where God's birthing a new government. God's birthing a new Ecclesia. God's birthing a new breed of justice warriors, of lions that let it roar. Let the bold roar, let the righteous bold uh, roar as bold as lions. Excuse me. The righteous are as bold as lions. So I'm saying that. So let the roars come. Let the trumpets come. Let God proclaim from the rooftops, shout it out, salvation, Jesus is coming, Jesus is near, the kingdom of hand is, the kingdom of God is at hand, shout it out from the rooftops, Maranatha, Hosanna, let the king of glory come, who is this king of glory, the Lord strong and mighty in battle, so let justice ring, some to amen, and so right now we're in a season, a time where exposure is coming. Even in the church world. Amen. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Every hand that is drawn against you will backfire. Everything that has been thrown against you will boomerang in Jesus' name. So it's an amen. So I believe that's what's going on right now. And this is just the beginning. It's not just the beginning of the birth pangs. It's the beginning of exposure. I declare full exposure. Let every fake friend be exposed. Let every user, every deceiver, every conniver, let every leech of the spirit, let him be exposed. Every Judas that has kissed you on the cheek, let every Peter that has said, I will never betray you, let every false motive be exposed in the glory light of God. God is doing it. Someone say amen. Why? Because God is releasing the glory. He's releasing the kavod, the heaviness of his presence. Rabba baba. And old wineskins, old alliances, old circles, old clubs, networks will not do it. The foundation is shaking. <laughs> the foundations are shaking. God is shaking. God is moving. Because there's something fresh and new that God's doing. Some say full exposure. Some say full justice. Come on, somebody. Some say joy and jubilation. I'm telling you, let the people be glad. Let the people rejoice. God is answering the prayers of the saints. And God loves this country. The Lord Jesus loves America. Amen. Of course, he loves every other country as well. The Philippines, Russia, China, Japan, Korea, Uganda, Congo. Egypt, but there's something that God is focusing into and highlighting into the United States of America. For as America goes, so goes the world. I feel the Holy Ghost. 
Do you feel the presence of God? I just want to worship the Lord in this moment right now because I feel the anointing. I feel the Holy Spirit. God is about to bring you up and out. God is bringing you out of the pit. God is about to release solutions. The hammer of God is coming. Justice is mine. Vengeance is mine, says God. I see the, the gavel of God coming down and saying, you are innocent. You are not guilty. I'm about to exonerate you. I'm about to release you. I'm about to expunge you. I'm about to redeem you. I'm about to restore you. I'm about to give you double honor, says God. Robo Sandiri Skurubruska Monday. I release the hosts of heaven, the angels of God in this place right now. I release it to you in the name of Jesus, let every voter fraud be exposed. Let the Dominion software be exposed. I thank you, Jesus, that you cannot be mocked, but you are a God that gives the due reaping to all those that have sown in secret and in the dark. No man will be safe from the justice of God. Nobody, no woman will be safe from the measuring rod of heaven. You will receive what is rightfully due to you. <laughs> Some say hallelujah. Every spirit of delay, attack and backlash and hindrance is broken. Release swift justice. Swift justice. Accelerated glory. Power. Power prayer. Super growth. Release it right now in Jesus' name. Someone say hallelujah. So this is just the beginning. Anthony Fauci being exposed. The whole left elitist. They're throwing him under the bus. Big tech, they're throwing him under the bus. Things are shifting. Things are shaking. Things are moving in the name of Jesus. Someone say amen. And our prayers are, are being answered right now. The Bible says everything will come to the light. Every single thing will come to the light. Someone say hallelujah. I mean, I'm sure many of you, even as I have, have read some of the emails. I mean, there's thousands of emails and not just for Fauci. What about Clinton? What about Hillary Clinton? What about Hunter Biden? There's thousands of corrupt emails. Oh, geez. Thousands of emails. But what is Congress doing? What is the Supreme Court doing? What, what are people actually doing in this country? But I'm telling you, the faithful few, uh, the faithful few senators that have been going against the mob, God bless that tithe. And I want to process, it's the remnant. It's the 10%. It's the tithe, the first fruit that always sees the 90% shift. The Bible says the tongue is like the little rudder of a ship. But that's how powerful the tongue is. Because like the rudder of a ship, even though the little rudder is so small, it turns the whole ship. The tithe, the 10%, the small remnant of righteous politicians in America of the Republican Party, they're churning the whole narrative of America right now. They're not giving up like bulldogs in Arizona. Come on, in Maricopa, in the name of Jesus, let the voter fraud be exposed and be recounted again. But it's that righteous few that are saying, I'm not going to give in to the left woke mob. I'm not going to give in to the woke church. I'm not going to give in to the mob occultic clubs of Christian societies. I'm not going to give in to these bullies. I'm not going to just give in and say, it is what it is, and just throw my towel. No, I'm going to fight. I'm going to roar. I'm going to stand my ground and occupy. I'm going to push back. It's a season of pushback. It's the season of payback. It's the season of your comeback. Some say, amen. I feel the Holy Spirit. I feel the Holy Ghost. That's what's happening right now. And it's just the beginning. Some say it's just the beginning. They threw Anthony Fauci under the bus because these guys are scared. They're trying to hide something. They don't want to be connected with him no more. They use him for their own plot and their own gain and their own plan. But now that Fauci's getting exposed, they threw him under the bus because they're like, 
We're innocent. We had nothing to do with it. We're trying to cover up our own stories, our own behind. Let's burn ships. Let's burn. That's what the demonic kingdom does. They eat their own people. They're cannibals. They step all over each other for their own demonic demise, devices, and plans. But that's not who we are. We are sons and daughters of light. We don't use. We bless. Amen. All right. We turn the other cheek. All right. We're, we're sons and daughters of the kingdom of light. My gosh. So what is God doing right now? Things are going to get exposed. Things are coming to the light. God is answering our prayers. Some to amen. God is answering our prayers. Things are coming to the light. Swift justice. Things are going to happen quickly in the name of Jesus. And I declare decree. Even this summer, this three-month summer, is going to be a summer of awakening. A summer of love. And God's going to begin to fast forward and zoom and boom just uh, until the second half of 2021 have you experienced some difficulties in the first half of this year have you experienced some backlash some disappointments in the first half of this year well get ready because the second half of this year is going to be greater the bible says the latter shall be greater than the former so the second half of 2021 is going to be greater greater glory greater increase greater finances greater platforms greater blessings greater friends greater revelations greater dreams greater desire greater moments experiences greater greater the latter shall be greater than the former someone say hallelujah shout hallelujah it shall be greater than the former. The second half of 2021. Someone say amen. All right. And let me tell you, this is the best my voice has sounded in over a month. In over one month, this is the best my voice. I mean, I'm getting a good rest. I'm getting a good sleep. It's been good to be home for the last week. But this is the best my voice has been. Someone say, I'm getting my voice back. Someone say, I'm getting my voice back. Shakaraka. Someone say glory, hallelujah. Let the masks come off. I can't wait to have a mask burning party. I cannot wait to have a mask burning. I declare and decree. For, I just saw right now, 4th of July, Independence Day. 4th of July, Independence Day. I saw mask bonfires all across America. Yee Mask bonfires in America. On Independence Day, 4th of July. My gosh. Why? Because it's our freedom to do so. It's our freedom. And I saw it in the spirit. Glory, hallelujah. They say they're going to lift the mask mandates. Yeah, it's going to be lifted. But not only is it going to be lifted. But these people who incited and forced these evil agendas on our children, on, on humanity, on society... They're going to, I'm telling you, we the people will not stand for this nonsense. We the people are going to stand until we see justice. Remember the story of the widow. The widow was bugging the judge, bugging the king. And the widow did not relent. The widow did not easily give up. The king was not righteous at all. In fact, the Bible says that the king, the governor, was evil, was wicked. But because the widow continued to bother, the king gave the way. And let me tell you, you, you people that are on the wall, you watchmen and watchwomen that are on the wall, constantly praying, pulling on heaven, releasing your petitions, releasing your prayer requests, Releasing your intercession. Those things are about to tip over in Jesus' name. I declare a tipping point over you. I declare an overwhelming tipping point, an overwhelming avalanche, an overwhelming tsunami wave, explosive glory, dunamis, Pentecost, upper room, boom, birthing. Come on, the water's breaking. I declare, ho oh, shakarababa. A tipping point over you in the name of Jesus. Tipping point of what? Justice. Jubilee. 
righteousness, exposure, vindication, a tipping point of prayers being answered. Someone say amen. If you're loving this, give me some hearts and likes. But God is shaking things in every sphere of society. Every sphere. And they threw Anthony Fauci under the bus. Let me, let me tell you, it's not just the beginning. More is coming. Someone say there is more. More is coming, people. And I just saw what that Trump has been, is back, right, on social media. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, the validity, because I'm reading different articles. I'm reading different articles, but... But Trump is back on Facebook. <laughs> I'm not sure about Twitter. I'm not sure about Instagram. But Trump is back on social media. Now, let me tell you why is this so important. Because big tech cannot hold the truth down. Big tech left media, they cannot hold and control the truth. And I'm not saying Trump is the truth, but there's truths and facts that he's been trumpeting all along. And if you can ban and cancel and muzzle the freedom of speech from one of the greatest presidents that the world has ever seen, then what tragic travesty are we coming to? But Trump is, is back on social media, <clears throat> which means things are shifting towards your favor. Things are churning towards your blessing. Things are moving. And we already knew this was coming. We saw this. The prophets saw this. We saw this. We prophesied it. We declared it. We already knew this was coming. Because you cannot go against the word of God and against God's people. And you cannot do evil and get away with it. The Bible says that the wicked are like shaft. They're blown away into the air. But the righteous are stable and firm forever. Of course, Trump's not a perfect person, but he dang sure is a good elected president, not a falsely elected fraud president. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I may be on one and strong today, but this is what it's all about. Stand for truth. Stand for righteousness. Listen. Things are shifting. Things are turning. God is moving. And I want to declare this over you. That great justice and full exposure is coming. Great justice and full exposure is coming. God is with you. God is on your side. He is not late in fulfilling His promises. He is for you. Amen. America, Jesus is for you. This is still the greatest hour of the church. This is still our greatest hour, my gosh. Let the prophets prophesy. Let the trumpets blast. And let the people of God stand. Let me declare over you right now. Justice, jubilee, swift growth, accelerated prayers, superpower glory. Shoo, <laughs> superpowers. And that's what's going to happen in June, boom, July, August, June, boom, summer of awakening. I declare a summer of awakening in Jesus' name. If you agree with this word today, say amen. If this word blessed you today. I want you to give us a like and a share. We want this word to go out to more people because I believe it's what God's doing. I believe it's a true word. But I want to pray for you now, even as we close. Let his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children and your children. Amen. Amen. Remember, the blessing is greater than the curse. His love is greater than shame. His grace is greater than sin. His life is greater than death. The gospel is greater 
than any bad news. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Let his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children and your children. Let his favor be upon you. Jesus. I release a wall of fire, a wall of angels. God is exposing the users, the fake friends, the false prophets, the false evil agendas of men. God is exposing the deep church. God is exposing the intents and the agendas of men in their hearts. God is shaking. God is moving. And even in the midst of it all, you will keep your heart right before God. You will keep your heart humble before the Lord. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Jesus, I give you thanks. Great justice. Full exposure. Swift movement acceleration in the summer season. It's June boom and a summer of awakening. Next week, we have Donna de da Silva with us here. She is the creator of Sozo, uh, Inner Healing Deliverance, that program. She's the creator of Sozo from Bethel Church. She's going to be with us next weekend. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, amen. And, uh, the week after that, I'm going to be in New Mexico, all right? So I'm saying New Mexico. So if you're in the Arizona, uh, New Mexico, that area region, come join us. It's going to be powerful. We're going to be at the Navajo Reservation. And God's going to move like never before, amen? But li listen, I release a wall of fire around you. And may our hearts be humble and pure in midst of the shaking, the exposure, I mean, people are going to have to be repenting and they're going to make some public apologies. They're going to have to apologize to you. They're going to have to repent and make some public apologies. Amen. Make some public statements. <laughs> Touch not my anointed, says God. Do my prophets no harm. <laughs> people of God, I'm so glad you joined me today. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Give us a, a heart and a like. All right, follow me on Facebook's public page. And uh, listen, I want you to comment below what resonated with you the most, what spoke to you the most. Did this make sense? Did this bless you? Amen. And pray that the left tech media does not take this video down. Amen. Bless you. This is Pastor Ben Lim. I'll see you this weekend. See you soon. Shalom.